miracle of medicine, man. The guy's <laughs> gonna save the world. Now the medicine's a miracle, brother. I'm just the messenger. Don't kill the messenger. No, don't kill the messenger. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see, though. I'm sure the pharmaceutical companies out there would like to shoot the messenger. <laughs> Can you see that in the camera? Yeah, put it on his head. Yeah, I, see, I wonder what that was. Okay. Yeah, don't shoot the messenger. Oh, yeah, shoot, shoot him. <laughs> shoot him, don't shoot the messenger. <laughs> uh, no, it was fun. I enjoyed that. I like that anyway, because I've, you know, I've done it in real, in real radio stations, and they don't get nervous, you just belt it out. Hmm? <laughs> Why do you whisper? Because she's passing her booby room, so you don't hear it hanging it all over there. <laughs> <laughs> you can't trust ZZ Top. <laughs> That's what I said. You should get that. The old style car, Paul Sinatra and Extra. Get the big glass. That's a cute little computer. Yeah. Not much to it. Oh, yeah. A little camera. I guess that's it. Yeah, it's right, right there. It's even smaller than mine. Oh, just a little is. bit, yeah. My well, I guess we got our nail down tonight, tonight, guys. So, off to Amsterdam tomorrow. Well, Tomorrow night, about this cost, time, I'll well, be I'll you probably get almost. You. Yeah, our time. I will be probably you landing. Friend of the young ladies in there. Camel's cut. That's a good one. Boy, yeah. today they could be happy to see you. Day's <laughs> <laughs> their day. Yeah, well. Well, they're, they're going to give me all these awards next week for that. Like Freedom Fighter of the Year and something else. And, and what they're doing, they're making me into the biggest hemp activist in the planet now. Just keep Jacks down for the pound for, for a while. I don't know what's going to happen with him. But uh, but even Jack himself, he had, I talked to Jack. It was just a week or two, a couple weeks before he took the heart attack. And he's been, he, before that, he was even going on, he wanted me to take his place, yeah. you know, because Jack's, you know, he's got a lot of problems. But I didn't, you know, like, I don't have any illusions like that, and only a fool would try to take Jack Harris' place, because Jack's a legend. You know, that's what I tell people. I may, in the end, I may wind up being, come, you know, becoming the, the, the emperor of hemp medicine, but Jack Harris is the emperor of hemp, not me. But, uh, but Jack, I think he's a great guy, and he's done such wonderful things for the movement, you know. Fine Nobody can replace him. No. Hmm? That's a fine and appropriate distinction. Magazines there. Magazines there. No, I just try to keep it logical. I and mean, don't let no bullshit in the conversation. I noticed you struggled with it. You could have muscled yourself a couple of times. Uh, I can get ahead of myself. Eh? Yeah. As long as you keep the cool of the swearing, just let it roll. It's better to say bullshit than you want to try. You already got your life already. It's not the same day, but I'll just talk to you. Okay, are you ready to head for home now? Yep. Okay, guys. I we're going to get all kinds of compliments for that one. Pleasure meeting you. Thanks, sir. And brother, yeah, it's a pleasure meeting you. I wish we could have got together a bit longer, but like this last few days, you would no, no, I not believe it. Must have happened. Oh, this is I mean, this is especially this is this last day. They're all going on like you know. Now we need the men. Don't leave. You know. Well, yeah, but don't well, hate it. It's every kid's dream. <laughs> you know. <laughs> oh no, I don't hate it. I'm afraid she couldn't stop me from doing this if you wanted to. No, I'm addicted. There's nothing addictive about that plant except for growing it and preaching about it. That's the addictive part. <laughs> which I which one's not done? That. That's one true. Oh. I heard you say John today. Okay. I'm going to a personal touch, right? Two so and so. I'm Justin. Okay. Two Justin. Justin, by the way. <laughs> if you ever sell that, I won't have. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll never, never sell it. You'll never sell it. I'll never sell it. <laughs> <laughs> this will be a mint. Yeah, they would be worth a mint, eh? But I would never. Yeah, you one up on uh, eBay. Right um, off the gate. You're ready to go there, here. young fellow. We're going to give Rick a ride to his truck. Yeah, that's a good idea. Just, you know, if you guys really want to slap idea. that up on the internet, feel yeah. yeah, free. Okay. Well, <laughs> what, that interview here? Yeah. Well, you'd have to leave your camera, but that's what I was talking to him about. I was asking if he knew somebody who 
computer no, I camera. Leave, I just leave the just leave the Chris, the card. The card. Yeah. Okay. Chris Harrigan can use. Yeah, oh, wow. yeah. I can leave the card with you. You got a lot of video. Like, that's I like to download that whole thing really and have it all. Yeah. All, like even all your stuff, right? Because yeah. you got all this video. It should be all, you know, Chris categorized. Was and some of your archive material. Uh, uh, our, our, our archives are pretty scary places, but it's <laughs> just there. And, it, and then if the right person just come by with the editing, then you can yeah. cut. Yeah. Get ready. No. You gotta get your right back Sorry. home. Yeah, I gotta find It is unconscionable to treat a saint in this manner. Rick Simpson is the Freedom Fighter of the Year. Rick. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. And look, it's a, it's a pleasure to be here at the Cup. Uh, I've met so many wonderful people. The, the seed companies, you know, DNA, uh, DNA seeds, uh, TH seeds, and all the rest of the guys. And and, and then Orion from Greenhouse. He, I mean, he brought me here. And uh, I'll tell you right now, you haven't lived unless you've been on the back of a scooter with Orion at the wheel. That's a dangerous experience. <laughs> <laughs> it was thrilling. The whole trip has been thrilling. And, you know, what a great event. But unfortunately, the way it stands right now, you see, two years ago, in, in November 30th, on my 58th birthday, they arrested me and they put me in jail for four days without my medicine. And if I go that length of time, I mean, if you had to see me, at the end of the four days, of course, the jail is a torture house. It's like it's so hot you can't sleep. My blood pressure was all out of whack. I mean, I, I looked at, in pretty bad shape after four days. So if I go back to Canada, the first thing, I mean, I've had three charges since 2005. So if I go back, I'll be arrested, or I'll be charged, or put in jail, and probably denied bail. And, and it, that's about all it'll take, because it takes months for, you know, to get into the court system. So, I mean, that, that would kill me. So the only thing I can do is become an exile and seek political refuge in Europe. And that's what I plan to do. I can give them hell from here just as easy as I can for over the, from over there. But the problem here is, folks, there's people back in Canada that are, you know, they're depending on me to save their lives and give them advice. And I can no longer do that now. But so if anyone out there has cancer or a serious illness, go to our website, phoenixtears.ca, and read and look into the recipe. Make the medicine for your loved ones. It can save their life. It can, it can change people's lives. So for God's sakes, make it. And uh, if anybody out there has a couple bucks to send our way, Phoenix Tears, we sure appreciate it because uh, I don't know what the rest of Europe is like, but Amsterdam is quite expensive, but a wonderful city. Thank you very much, folks.